What's going on? I've done it again. You man. have, you've done it again. <laughs> it is exactly the same without being the same in any way, it's shape the same, or form. But completely different. <laughs> it's <I've> longer. Been... <laughs> it is, yeah. And it's red. It's red. It's another Van Haven motorbike van. Yes, we love Van Haven motorbike vans. And like the last time, I haven't seen this thing at all. Exactly. So let me show you what we've done. So yes. this is Kevin's van. Uh, Kevin is massively into his motocross and he wanted to carry his motocross bikes uh, everywhere where he goes competing Fair and play. riding. Yep. And he wanted to do so in the utmost luxury and of course, comfort, of course. Uh, but also have a very secure area that could also serve as maybe like a hangout for when he's not riding, but also incorporate a load of tools that can make his life on the road with motorcycles a whole load easier than it is normally That's with a pickup truck. So let's see how you pulled it off. Let's this is going to be a hard one because um, the last big motorbike van that we had here was the Moto Legends van, which is uh, mental. It was a beast. I look forward to you showing me around this van. Let's do it. Cool. Uh, we've gone for a really minimally styled exterior, uh, satin blacked the entire front grille. Love it. We haven't been very fussy with the styling. We've um, kind of continued the satin black theme around the sides of the overarch kit. It sat on mega air ride with the ultimate adaptability, again for loading, it's the same system we used last time. And we've actually put a spare wheel on the back of the van, which is quite important. With certain air ride systems, we remove the spare uh, to give an enough space, don't we, for the tank presses and tanks and all that fun stuff. So we put the spare wheel on the back, Huge roof rack, this looks awesome. We've actually bolted a solar panel onto the top of it so that it can be removed and moved around uh, as per Kevin's desires oh, based on yes. what he needs to put on the roof. This is a rollout awning and on the other side we have an awning rail. So if Kevin's ever at events and wants to create a little covered hangout space, he can do, he can pull out the awning this side, have like a little tent the other side and he can fettle or clean his bikes. I would maybe. be fettling and cleaning my van. This thing is absolutely biblical. It's so Love cool. Love these, man. A little bit of satin black styling on the back because there wasn't any. A huge wheel holder. It's a very meaty, full-bodied van. Wow. This thing's mental. <laughs> it is mental. It is mental. I've seen lots and lots and lots of tech in here and stuff all neatly put away in beautiful wrapped and overarch boxes. Yeah. Jet wash. Jet Power. wash. Power. Check. Hose. Heater. Water tank. Beer. Beers. Uh, helmet storage, glove storage, all the other bits you have when you go motorcycling. I think this is just next. <laughs> it's insane. So we've wow. got the uh, extractor van. The purpose behind that is that Kevin transports fuel for race days. Yeah. So we needed to accommodate fuel cans, yeah. but also it gets a bit stinky in the van with all the fuel. So that is designed to extract the fumes. We've got all the power systems. We've got inverters, leisure battery, diesel heater, all the USB charge-ups for things, lights, cameras, GoPros. Uh, the floor rails, again, we've inset these just like the Moto Legends van, but as per Kevin's request, we've built in a fourth rail for extra support. And you've done it again. You've painted the... Had Mesh. to be gray, yeah, and the Raptor as well. We normally Raptor in black, but it, it wouldn't have worked, so we went for gray. And the reason behind the Raptor is because we didn't want any damage to the cabinetry. This is a super hard wearing finish. This is normally used on truck bed liners. So even if a motorbike slips and a foot peg catches this, this doesn't matter. It should be okay. This my friend, is a custom bulkhead. 
It's definitely custom. Yeah. So unlike the Motor Legends van, this is a long wheelbase van. Uh, you need about two and a half meters of length for most motorcycles. Uh, but the extra 40 centimeters we decided to use for storage in the back end. Fully charged diesel heater. I love how the boys have made the cubby holes over the step light. Well, this wasn't originally in the design. So they've actually ad libs, which was very fun, I think, for them. Uh, to actually be able to run with the design. Kevin was really cool with it. So he's actually got extra storage. And that side Lit. lights up, yeah. it's so cool. Yeah. Um, and they kind of just built to their heart's content. We said it needs to have fridge box, electric, and all that sort of stuff. And they've just hidden it away in a very cool looking manner. It is just so well executed. Let's have a look in the front. Ooh, oh. Look at that! That is an absolute beast yeah, it of is. a monitor. So we've actually got two cameras on this van rather than one. One in the bulkhead looking inside the back of the van and then a second looking out the back for when he tows. That is just so yeah. good. And Kevin really liked the GTI finish to the Moto Legends van, but we oh. needed three seats in here. And this is our GTC seat, which I have to say. Super comfortable. Oh, it's so comfortable. Uh, Kevin has dogs. They normally travel up front with him. Uh, so what we've done is we've modified a front double bench to have a space behind the seat, which has all been beautifully Alcantara's, and it's likely the odd bit of luggage or even a canine friend will sit back here, maybe on here, you're going, so to be known as the, right you're going to be known as the Alcantara of Bulkhead Man. Yeah, it's cool. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, this thing is so cool. Oh, carbon fibre. Oh, these know. are brand new. These are nice. nice. Oh. Sorry, Moto Legends, these are not in your van. <laughs> it's always about levelling up. And I think every single one of our clients know that we will always try and better ourselves. It's the innovation, it's the passion that creates it. So, little carbon fibre bits, which I'm sure must have been an absolute beep ache to make that happen. Um, we've really been nice. working on these for a while, haven't we? Because normally when we've historically Alcantara'd sun visors, we've had to lose the vanity mirror. We have. Because there's no way to keep the Alcantara taut and nice whilst keeping it. So. That's been a bit of work. I really like it. It's, it's really, really, nice. really nice. I cannot express to you how premium this feels. It's such a nice panel van. And I'm loving this, this GTR. You've done this twice now, Bernsey, and Ooh. I just love it so much. An inner Fortana red chassis. Oh, it just all, oh, and on the steering wheel as well. And the gear and gator. And the gear gator, yeah. dude. Love the mid-tone grey with the LMI1. It is really tastefully thought about. You you really put your um, your thought and design into every aspect. So Burnsy hasn't played with this air ride system because this is the lifty uppy one. But I'd just like to notice little details. Little Van Haven logos on the keys. Hello, Burnsy. Hello. I'll start it up. Oh, up we go. So. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, it did something, you turned it off. Did I turn it off? No, no, there it is. Oh, and so that's um, the outside That's one. Martin's van in the background. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. That is amazing. I love that. It feels really modern and it doesn't look cheap and nasty. It doesn't nasty. look out of place. No, it's a really cool system. So this air ride system yep. is officially known at Van Haven as the Uppy. Even jacked up, it just looks so, so squat and yeah. perfectly um, it's really cool. proportioned with itself. They're very rugged wheels. They are very rugged wheels. So let's go into load mode. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. I think it's fair to say, my dear man, smashed it. 
Thank you so much for joining us on uh, another panel van slash motorbike slash Burnsy going mental and Kevin clearly very involved. Yes. Um, you guys have smashed it. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. If you fancy a van like this or something equally as mental, speak to this guy because yeah. he clearly does the crazy stuff. Thank you so much. Bye. Like and subscribe. Cheerio. See you later. Yeah.